Let's talk about truck tires and why I'm running the tires that I am. Okay, first things first, I've gone through many, many, many different tires. Let's go over what tires I've tried or I've had so far. The truck came initially with those garbage Transforce tires. They're just terrible, okay? And they lasted like just over 20,000 miles, so they were absolutely garbage. The worst tire by far. And so those were terrible, didn't last long, and we got rid of them really fast. I got some good luck. I had good luck with Yokohamas, and they started lasting me upwards, you know, 45, 50,000. So that's really good. And then they discontinued those, and I thought, I'm like, look, I can get better tires. I should be able to, uh, I should be able to last, you know, 70, 80,000 miles on tires. It's like, what's going on? We're, we're very lightweight. And so I thought I could do, I could last that long by getting 19.5 inch tires and wheels. And I spent a ton of money and that was a, like a flop, totally wasted all my money and don't do that. So 14 point or 19.5 is not worth it. Don't do it. They didn't last like long at all. And then I switched back to 18s and I will say that doing a little more research and digging into it. The issue with the 19.5s, and I covered it in my tire, wheel and tire video, but the issue with them is they don't have a high enough speed rating, and plus they're expensive, and that's the other issue. But they had a 75 mile an hour speed rating, so I'm not saying you should go that fast, but they're rated for 4,500 pounds at 75 miles an hour. And so the t then I went to a Cooper tire, but I, I stayed at the 275 size. I then found out that you can get a 295 and it's rated for over 4,000 pounds and the same 112 mile an hour speed rating so you just decrease your capacity for weight which I'm never that heavy anyways on my on my each on each tire but your speed rating and that means they handle heat a little better and so they, they last longer and so I've been rocking these Coopers, not these, not these specific ones, but my first two sets were the Cooper Discover AT3, just the regular ones. And then I had two sets of those. And so this is my first time with the Cooper Discover AT3 XLT. Okay. And apparently that's a different type of tire, totally, totally different than the regular AT3. It, it looks exactly the same, but it must be just something they changed. But I will say those Cooper, uh, the, the regular AT3 lasted 67,000 miles. The first set and the second set, I think they were like right around 63,000 miles. That was uh, summer last year and winter this year. And so I switched to these just recently, or I say just recently, but these tires now have over 10,000 miles on them. And they look really, really good. And I'm not sure what they're what you can get them for maybe at the local shop, like 12, 1300 bucks. And so when you do the 1300 bucks divided by however, you know, it should last at least 65,000, maybe we can get 70,000 miles out of them. Like that comes down, like your per mile cost on tires is really, really good. So overall, I'm really happy with, uh, with these Discover, A Discover AT3 XLT, really, really happy with them. Um, no, no complaints whatsoever. I, I just, I wanted to update you guys because I know this, like, if you're out there doing the work, it's really hard to then also, like, do tons and tons of research like I have unless you're going through tires really aggressively. And because I've been doing so many miles, uh, I really feel like I'm the, like, the test mule or the guinea pig for, you know, whichever tire can last longest. And so I basically, with the 295 size, so you got to go up from a 275, which is what came stock, to a 295 so i mean maybe your transmission doesn't last as long who knows but i i really think by going up in size it's it's worth it you know what i mean and so i've had if the first time they were 67 this time they were 63 so that's 130,000 miles so basically my transmission has been running a 295 tire which is like a 34 inch tire for 130 140,000 miles now and i i don't know how much quicker it's going to break the transmission i don't I don't think that quick, that much quicker, but I'm curious how many miles a dually would get out of these tires. That's the interesting part because 
it's 4,000 pounds per tire. That's 8,000 pounds on each side. So a dually rear axle would be rated for 16,000 pounds, but realistically, most duallys are rated, they have a 10,000 pound axle on the back. So if you're rated for 16, you can go 112 miles an hour, which I'm not saying you should, don't actually, but if you're rated for that much weight and you're never that heavy, I'm curious how long these would actually last. That would be really interesting. So if you have a dually, let me know how many miles you're getting out of these because that would be that would be really really interesting but the only thing is with the dually on a 295 they might rub in the middle and i think that's bad so you might need a spacer so i'm not sure well let me know you guys below and that's going to do it for this video let me know what you think about my tires let me know if you guys have something better i'm looking for over 4,000 pounds and over 112 miles an hour speed rating if you guys have found something that maybe i didn't know about let me know in the comments below hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.